Hello, how are we? It is another guest, another lovely sunny day in Galway and today we're on our way out to Connemara to do the Killery, I think it's the Killery Fjord, the coastal hike. I've never done it, I've driven by the sign so many times from what I'm aware of it's just like a hike around the edge of Killery Fjord and yeah I suppose we'll see. Yeah, well, owns in the shop. I just took a quick Google. It is a three to four hour hike along the coast of the fjord, and it's called the Killery Coastal Walk or the Fo Fjord Famine Walk. So let's go. Start the hike, head out of Vinan on the N59. Once you see the sheep farm sign on the left, you can pull in there and you start walking down the road for Benoan. You'll know you're in the right place when there are sheep absolutely everywhere. For the first half of the walk, you'll be walking down these old windy country Irish roads with better and better views around every corner. It is absolutely breathtaking. So the reason it's actually called the Killery Famine Walk is because back in the times of the famine under the English rule, the Irish were sent out to build roads in exchange for food. Now the thing is, the people were already starving and malnourished, so this physically demanding work actually killed a lot of people. Up to a million people died in the famine, so we can only guess how many of those people died building the famine roads in the countryside. There is actually a sheep farm down here, so if you're doing the walk, be prepared to share the road all of these guys. Hello. They're all over the road. They're in the fields. And as Owen said, it's like an open gate policy because all the gates are open and they just seem to be able to roam wherever they want. Because you can drive right by them and they won't get off the road because they have no fear. But then if you walk anywhere near them, they're so skittish. But yeah, at least you'll have lots of sheep to keep you company on your walk. Also, just over the wall here is the fjord. We're making our way out to the coast. The walk itself varies in length, so I've seen loads of different articles. Some saying it's 20 kilometers, some saying 14, some saying seven. So I guess it just depends how much of the walk you want to do yourself. You can do a linear walk where you go from where you park your car out to the coast and back again or there is a way you can do it that it's a whole loop walk so Galway blogger All About Rosalia did a blog post showing the map of the loop so I'll link that below and I'll also link an article showing the linear walk as well So we've been very lucky with the weather so far because if you can tell on the camera it's raining all across the mountains here but so far we've stayed 100% dry except when I fell in the river and got my shoe wet That feel of let it all fall and ruin a rival This time we will not go in and I can see their cheese. So we were just having too much of a good time stopping and looking at the scenery so we didn't make it too far at all. But we know to come back and do the full thing. The full thing's like 18 kilometers so I'd say we didn't even make a dent in that but sure we'll come back another time. It's just it's getting dark so early and the big rain clouds are coming in so we'll just come back again another time. Oh, and got his hair tied up. How does it feel to have a ponytail? Tight. Does it feel better or worse than being down? I think it depends on what I'm doing. Right now? Uh, so I think that's so much I easier. Like the fact I can't put my hat on. You can, yeah. No, I can't. It's all weird. You just pull it over that. Huh? It just means there's no hair in your face. Or like getting stuck in your hood or anything. Oh, you touched it! So we're back in the car now. We turned back, it was starting to get quite dark and the rain was really moving in. So we didn't get, I don't even think we had half of the walk to be honest. We didn't even get 
to the end of like the gravel stretch which I think is like about halfway I'd say we did maybe a quarter of even but it was so much more scenic than I thought it was going to be like it it's so nice so definitely recommend it although I'm gonna have to come back myself and do it properly before I can fully give you my recommendation so yeah there'll probably be another video where I go again and actually finish it this time but maybe I might wait till the weather gets a bit warmer for that there's Owen in the background making his coffee he's delighted with himself he brought a little flask for his coffee he's so happy now Man, that has surprised me <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna head home by like a longer scenic route to see if there's anything else we're gonna see before it gets fully dark. But yeah, that was part of the Killery Fjord coastal walk and I will chat to you after. Oh no! Our table! It's, it's broken! broken.